hi welcome back so last time I showed you how to make just a very simple coaster with one piece of fabric on the front one piece of fabric on the back this time I'm going to show you how to make a I want to say quilted one but one where you're putting pieces of fabric together in a style of a quilt here's my first one that I made a little example one so this is four small squares stitched together and then turned into a coaster just like we did with the comic strip fabric so let me put the little instruction thing again as to what you need so as you see you need four pieces of fabric i've got four here that are six centimeters by six centimeters just four little squares and then another piece of I'm using denim. As you see, you could use felt or fleece or canvas or anything that's just a little bit tougher, really. Now, you see my fabrics um, match and coordinate, I suppose, uh, to a point. So I've got two pieces of the black star fabric and two pieces of the gray star fabric. You could do this with any four different pieces of fabric, a different patterns, different colors whatever you whatever you've got in your scraps box really it doesn't really matter um whatever you want to do i just had some little pieces of this star fabric left over from something i can't remember what um so that's what i'm going to use for these coasters so what you want to do is take two i'm gonna i'm gonna show you how i'm gonna do these if you're using different styles of fabric then you just do whatever you think works for you and whatever will look nice so I'm basically going to take a piece of the black and a piece of the grey and put them right side to right side and I'm going to stick a pin through the middle of them to hold them in place I'm then going to do that with the other two pieces exactly the same right side to right side and then stick a pin in the middle just to hold them into place. The next thing I'm going to do is sew on each one of them I'm just going to sew down one edge just one edge that's all. Join me on sewing machine cam. <laughs> So as always, we're going to trim the bits of thread, there we go, and now we can remove the pins because we don't need those anymore. Here's this one, pin out, there we go. We open them up and you'll see that you've got the right sides of the fabric sewn together and the wrong sides of the fabric sewn on the back there, you know what I mean. Um, now. What we are going to do with this one, which we didn't do with the other one, is to go and press this seam out to get it nice and flat. So come with me to the iron and we'll go and do that now. We're back from the iron and so you see now I've got these two flat hems um, on the insides rather than ones that were sticking out that would just get in the way make the fabric bulky so now you're going to do exactly the same as we did before with the pieces separately but we're going to sew them together so you want to take the two right sides of the fabric and put them together how you want the final coaster to look so if you wanted the two black pieces to be together you'd put the black pieces together because that would open up like that I want them the other way around in the sort of diagonals pattern so I'm going to put that's the grey one to the black one I'm just going to pop that there and make sure that that seam that you've just sewn is like you want to match those up match up the seam so if you end up like I have done here with a little bit of extra fabric sticking up that doesn't matter because we can trim that off what does matter is that your seams are directly opposite each other so line those up and everything else we can sort out 
with a pair of scissors. And then what I'm gonna do is again, just put a pin in for security, not down the line where we're gonna sew it. So I've just put my pin in just across the middle really of the square, just to hold it together so that when we sew, we get it um, in the right place. And now what we're gonna do is just sew along one of those seams, the full length of that seam, which will anchor those two, four pieces of fabric together. And if we take out our pins, and then we can unfold that. Oh, I missed a bit of fabric of thread. Hang on. There we go. If we open this out, you've then got your quilted square. Now you've got one of those seams on the back again that needs pressing out. So let's go to the iron and do that. I'm not going to take you with me this time. You know what it looks like to iron out. A piece of fabric. So there we go, now I've got all those seams on the back are flat and much easier to work with. And you'll notice that there's maybe a little bit, can you see that? Like that black piece is just slightly bigger than the grey piece. That doesn't matter at all because you're going to put it onto a backing, you can trim it down, everything's fine. So take your backing fabric, I'm using denim like I did before because I have lots of it because I take a lot of jeans apart. So you want to put it with the right side of the fabric facing up and then you want to put the right side of your quilted piece on top of it. Now what you'll probably find, as I definitely am finding here, is that the denim backing layer is bigger now than the quilted layer that you just did um, because you've taken this amount of fabric, your seam allowance, inside. You've reduced the size of it. So what you can do is pin that on to the backing fabric. So again, remember right sides to right sides. Pin it on. And again, I'm just gonna use a couple of pins really just to make it secure. I'm not pinning it with precision particularly, but just wanna make sure that I've got it exactly uh, in the right place. And then with your scissors, you can just trim this fabric off, trim it to size. So I'll do that now. We're basically going to do exactly what we did on the plain coaster. We're going to sew around the edges and we're going to leave a little space in the middle of one of the edges for us to turn it through. So let's go and do that right now. <laughs> I've trimmed it, I've taken the pins out, and now we're just going to turn it through just like we did with the other one. And if you remember, we need to just trim our corners off like this just before we turn it through. Again, I've got pin ready. We're gonna slightly pull out the fabric to allow that raw edge to tuck down inside, ready for our top stitch. And I'm gonna pin it into position. There we go. And the last bit to do, as always, is to top stitch all the way around the edge to secure this open end and to finish off the edge as well. So let's go back to the sewing machine. So 
So there you go, I have top stitched all the way around the edge, secured that open end that we turned through and just finishes it off really. So it now matches its partner here. So now we've got a nice little pair of quilted coasters, another easy gift that you could make for somebody else or for yourself. There we go. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.